Hey everyone, here's a recap of the Mid Journey office hours from May 24th. Right now they're having a big team meeting in San Francisco. They're mapping out plans for standalone Mid Journey platforms, specifically mobile and web. It's always been a goal to have these platforms, but they have never had a big enough team to make any real strides and push the platform to release. Now they have a team. So how do they narrow down what they would be happy with releasing sooner than later? They are also trying to figure out timelines for future features. He said they have a multi-stage rollout plan. The first step is to test mobile and web with existing users, then try it with new people who have never even used Discord. They're leaning towards simplicity for new users rather than focusing on power users. They need casual people to feel comfortable and then transfer those people into more advanced users. They're also building out more advanced educational material. They've been analyzing analyzing different Discord chats, and also had some recent surveys which are helping them understand their users better. He said it's interesting to see how much the affordability affects the younger users, while older users want higher resolution. As far as free trials go, they're going to try a few different things in the next couple of weeks. He noted that a free tier would take away resources from paying users, so it's a tough problem to solve, but they seem like they have ideas to solve it though. Version 6 is training still. It's a bit behind schedule, but he said lots of features are coming. He mentioned composition, resolution, better language understanding, and maybe outpainting before inpainting. David did say that version 6 is a noticeable step up. There's more controllability. He said it's similar to how version 3 went to version 4. They're still working on 3D and more interesting stuff, but it's still in a research and development development phase at this time. One thing that does sound pretty cool though is they want a feature where you can draw in real time and watch Mid Journey fill out the canvas with you. Sounds fascinating. David said there is a new style coming for Niji Journey, which is just a general aesthetic improvement rather than a whole new looking style like cute or expressive or scenic. He noted that there's still a lot to do on the moderation side and they're still thinking about having invisible metadata watermarks on each image. This is interesting. He said they're thinking of a turbo mode as well as a higher priced tier. The turbo would be twice as fast, it would cost more, and it would be good if you're using it for work or exploring with a group of people. And the higher price tier will be way more expensive, but it will have more fast hours at a reduced price. There's a quick recap of the mid-journey office hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time.